Greetings, Disky fam. Welcome to another episode of the Sisonke Disky Chat. My name is Dan Muleko, and this is a show where we speak to former players of the two biggest clubs in the country, of course, that being Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. But before we get into today's conversation, remember, as we tell you, week in and week out, you stand yourself to win a Gushesh. Stand a chance to win yourself a Gushesh, one of a kind, or a Kentucky rounder that is customized. All you have to do is visit now.border.com.co.za and you can enter as many times as you want. And who knows, come end of the season, you could be rolling your streets in one of those beautiful, iconic cars. And of course, that is all brought to you by Vodacom. Now, we're going to get into today's conversation. And uh, I'm joined by players who are very, I can say skillful, because uh, I know Cho and Toko ZC. You guys were very skillful in your times and the fans used to go to the crown because they enjoyed how you guys play and um, of course as you see them uh, speaking to me right now i'm joined by former Ola pirates midfielder Klausi Holela, and former kaza chiefs midfielder uh, that is Topo Zizi. yeah then gentlemen welcome to the season thank you i'm glad to have you here thank you so, uh, Kiklo, Kiklo, I'm, I'm going to start with you, Brato. Uh, today we're looking at, uh, you know, the season will start in Kaboma August, and you slowly, slowly, slowly go. At some point, you'll get to a stage whereby Oseti came in at Kaboma 9 or Kaboma 80. At that point, do you guys have a sense of ish? This is what we need to do. You look at your goals when the season started versus where you are now and how you can finish. Just take me through the process what I like. How do you feel like at this stage of the season? What goes through, firstly, your mind as players and those conversations that you have with the coach? Yeah, I can simply say you, you've been guided by the, the coach at the beginning of the season. Mm. And obviously you're going to monitor during the season. And towards this time, obviously you're going to see where you are. And that you should tell you whether you've got a chance to go or you're just going to maintain what you've been in, in, in the top eight. But obviously, being a player, obviously, what you want is going to be a chunk. Mm. So, Mtokozis, when, when you find yourself in situations like this, uh, do you sort of like go with what Chloe was saying, or did you guys look at it differently during your time? Yeah, yeah I agree with what Chloe is saying, but. The planning starts at the beginning of the season, not towards the end of the season, because you need to put it off targets. By the time we reach this uh, month, we need to be here by the time. But sometimes it doesn't go that way. Mm. That's where it kind of get very crucial when it comes to this uh, time and moment of the, of the season. That we need to, some players get fatigued, some players get injured, some players get sick during, before the day of the match. Mm. And it's kind of very, it's tricky, it's tricky, but if you get it right from the beginning of the season, chances are you're going to take it. Uh, Klo, when you are here, ne, uh, this time of the season, I mean, there's obviously the plans, like um, Tokozisi say, beginning of the season, you're like, okay, cool, these are the goals that we set ourselves, maybe top 80, maybe you're like, ah, we don't want to get relegated. For you, mentally, as a player, I'm speaking to Pro Sikhorela now, you see, well, okay, no. In Tanka teams, like, we're going to be number nine or number eight. How does that affect you mentally versus how you started the season? Can you go with the ones that you said? Yeah, remember, remember, as a player, as a, as a, as a coach, not only you, mm. you said, you said the team. So, obviously, when we enter the field towards this time, sometimes during this time, contracts are coming to an end mm. and you're looking for a, a recruit. So, for you to, to, to get that job or that opportunity, Doing that, it also assists them in terms of looking at themselves how they perform. Should they improve the next day, or, or, or they should just maintain? It. That's why if you check in the PSL, you know, there's a lot of you know, players going down. Sometimes it's up, you know, because of not monitoring your game uh, on, on a game to game. Mm, you are eight games away from the end of the season. 
maybe you are within Boma five points in Yana from the top of the log, or maybe you are top of the log, the person chasing you, but you see like two, three points. Do you get nervous? Is it a point of you try so hard not to make mistakes? And a lot of people will say, the more you try not to make mistakes, you end up making yeah, a bound to make yeah. mistakes. How, 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 how challenging is that? Uh, especially if you find yourself as a team with that kind of scenario. It's very challenging in a way, but you get nervous. If you don't get butterflies when you're walking inside the field, there's something wrong with you. You don't need to be uh, overconfident as well, because that's the way you get arrogant and you might slip. So, like I said earlier, when it's very crucial and it's very, it's very tricky. It, it's a mind game situation and it gets physical as well. Mm. It depends who, who prepare better than the next one. Mm. I'd love to believe so. So in, in, in that preparation, eh, do you find, Jorge, okay, cool. Because I'm sure, yes, the preparations might be different from team to team. Uh, but however, the goal is the same. Like, we're going to win a league of it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what gives you the edge, or what gives a team the edge to sort of like be able to wipe away the butterflies or those little hurdles and be like, ah, but okay, it's fine. We stumble JMR and we'll come back. I mean, we've seen teams do it. I'm not going to mention them because we're speaking about the big teams here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we've seen teams do it. But what gets the whole staff to actually be on the same mentality? Because this is a very crucial time of the season. I'd love to believe, you know, you know football, football, football is life on its own. Mm. And in football, I'd like to compare it like music. Mm. You, you need to be passionate about, about what you do. You need to be disciplined about what you do. And it doesn't start overnight. Mm. It starts from the moment you leave your house and say, I'm going to work, not that I'm going to play football. Mm. Or I'm not that I'm going to record music, I'm going to work. So for you, if you have that mentality from the way go, before you even walk in that field, it means something. Mm. And still, you can be alone in that very same level of mindset, mm. only to find three of the guys are not there. That's where you need leadership, your senior players, to pull uh, the weight into, into the same direction. That way you are bound to get your results anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you brought up the, the senior players part, because that's, that's exactly where I was going to go to. Uh, so you've obviously been a senior player as well and playing amongst the youngsters. What, what, when you are in this situation, what kind of motivation do you give them? Be like, hey, Majita, like, ah, if we even know, Mare, we can go, Mare, we can go, Mare, we Yeah. You know, I just a reminder of what, what, what are they here? Mm. End of their families and they enter into the office. So you allow someone to enter your family and I, I say, so if you get that the answer, then comes the unity and the belief within amongst each other. You trust each other. But if you move there, you need to be more receptive here, working together, teamwork. And you've got a strong, strong character. It's, 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 it becomes easy. Cool. The team, Sharpo, uh, you can have the coach motivating the players, the senior players guiding the young ones. Now comes the crucial part, which is not here. We saw a bit of it last year, Mare. We'll, we'll take last year as a, as, a, as, a, as a different real case because we we're going through a lot of things. The fan, they are not there. And in most cases, you guys know, the fans will be the ones who pick you up when it looks like the chips are down. How do you navigate this period of time knowing more like, I don't have a lot of on you and maybe the technical staff playing as bobos. There are no fans. I, I, I would say it's like dancing for no music. You are dancing but there's no music. You need a bit in order for you to get the rhythm. So if there's an extra player, which is the top man on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, in the stadium, mm -hmm. it makes a difference. You can feel in yourself while you're playing that I'm not doing it. Yeah. Because the response that you get from up there, it's not the same as normal, as per usual. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a moral boost itself. But now because there are no fans and you only hear 
people calling your name, if you have the bald people not calling your name, you have to, you need to turn back to, to like you can hear your coach in your in the back of your ear. It's yeah, frustrating. Because then we can hear everything. Everything it's here. So go you 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 know you've been and both of you guys have been at FNP Stadium with all the eighty thousand people screaming. And they're not there. Like how do you navigate this time of the season without them? And You've done it plenty of times. Yeah, oh yes. How do you how do you fight for your position? A defense, a chain. Fair enough, but we can argue. I can go training in fighting for your position. You're you proving your point. You're proving to the coach that I deserve this. Yes. So obviously, when you get that position, a uh, position, and then uh, there's no much difference from training and because they're saying you train that uh, the players you train. Mm. So now you just have to apply what you train. Training mm. into the game. Now there's no fans. So you do exactly what you're doing in your training. So with I thought you need a strong strong mind. And 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 where does it come from? Does it come from Does it come from your teammates? Does it come from the coach or the management staff? Like that strong mentality that you need. It was where do you get it as a player? Where do you derive it from? It's, it's a very unfair question because one, when you think about it, no one told you how to believe in yourself. They will tell you, you must believe in yourself. How do you start believing? Where do you, where do you get that? Mm. I think it's the surroundings, the normal, you know, normal people you, 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 you always with. And a bit of a, 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 a true friends that mm. you need. But sometimes when you're in a peak of your, of your career, you hardly get true friends. They will say, ah, but I'm crazy for that. Even if you know deep inside, I didn't pull up today. I was not at the party. So is there that, uh, and I like that you actually go there, is there that feeling that we're all gaming, even though like we're in a 5 north or 6 north, or, and then or, 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 get the gaming off, and, and then you go back and you're like, ah, I know, I can't tell you, see today, through hundreds. If you want to improve, you need to play one sport. Yeah. The thing you want us to know your position. Your potential, you know, you give it all or you give it all. So, for you to improve the next day, you need to be in start within you, within yourself. That in three or less than three years, you won six. One has contribution to us in the game. One is in a room within the team. You become a winger, you get win, you create a lot of chance, you get taken and on. Mm. If I did none of this, then So, the, 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 the same, hey, yeah, you're only as good as your last game. Actually, it rings true because you got a crazy or a trick. But, give him a bunny if you did. We're looking forward to the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to respect each and every game. Like, it starts from training because you never know who's watching. We've seen it happening to the great people that we know in our country and overseas. Mm. So, you need to pull up the weight, whether it's training, whether it's in the game. You must be there. You must be there. So, pressure situation. I get it as the top of the table and the bottom. Sometimes one has the mentality of thinking, well, ah, the pressure is only on top and at the bottom. The guys in the middle, basha. Is that how it is? Or we just look at it from outside and make our own deductions? Not knowing what no, there's goals and benchmarks that they set for themselves in a way season they start. Yeah, remember what I said. There, there, there are so many things here. Mm. And it is the goals, it's the contract that is doing it. Mm. You need to improve your contract. So there's no way by you to turn over your training hands up. So whether you're even in the, in the middle of the table, I thought you could get into the top eight, yeah. At the bottom, you, you, you want to avoid the relegation. Mm. And at the top, you want to be the champions. So it depends on who you want to be. Okay, so the one crucial thing that we've seen, especially I think last season, this season, there's been a lot of youngsters that are coming up, Bo uh, Gezana, Bo Mashiani, and you find them in this kind of pressure situation. Yeah? Sharp, they've got the senior players that they've played with, 
and they'll obviously be within that environment uh, that you mentioned earlier on. But for them, you've been a youngster as well, getting into that kind of space. You've been a youngster as well, getting into that kind of space. I, I just want to find out, and I'm going to start with you, Mr. Boris, what drove you at the time, ne? and what advice, because you've walked the path, what advice would you give to those youngsters who are now walking the path? <coughs> One would say the system is it's different now. Say the system, I need to break it down so we don't just gonna take forever. <laughs> <laughs> I can summarize now. Yeah. Yeah. Ta -ta -ta. I mean some of the young yeah, 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 young players in our country they get uh, they get to be promoted while they're still not ready. Mm. And it affects them when we when we need them the most. Because the performance that Joe can pull, it's different from the young star. Joe has been there, has seen situations, even if how hard it comes with. Mm. But a youngster, when we're working now, I tend to forget I'm, I'm with the youngster here. We need to work. You are here for your family. I'm here for my family. You can't play with my money. It, 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 it brings so many things, man. Some of the things you are not even aware about. But what I can say, if they get the opportunity at a young age, let, let them humble themselves. Let them have that willingness of to learn. Mm. Look up to other uh, senior players. But nowadays, when, you, when you're a senior player and you're commenting to what uh, his performance, you think maybe you're jealous of him or because we're now gaming, There's so many things that are happening that are even high hidden. And so as well, uh, maybe adding on to what he said, or you perhaps have a different perspective to the whole thing. Yeah, for, for, for me, I don't think So let me let me understand something. Let them pay. Yeah. But she pay. Let them pay. Yeah. They will know. They will learn. So they start learning it. Okay. They mustn't be scared to do anything. Let them express their talent. So let me try to understand something. Um, and I'm gonna take it from what you said and a bit of what you said, ne? Uh, youngsters sort of like go in heartedly, like a banana mix. Bona wako dala peiski fela. Awato mamela anybody. Surely there's a pressure that comes with the you can be 17 or 16, my Otala Chiefs or Otala Pilots already in jail, just walking into the those places. Get okay. pressure on its own. Yeah. Yeah. Surely there's other teams I want to mention. Um, you can go there and be like, ah, okay, gradually get a whole idea and get it better. How can I go? Same game, get pressure. That it should be different. From what you said, like you can't want to know a man man alo shine na pelo, but ka hunga wano jo because all the tabinos pa ni from day one. What I'm saying is that for them to to learn to experience, they have to go through the process. You can't just sit here and say you will learn. Okay, final game of the season, ne? Uh, you need two goals. Yeah. And you score one. Yeah. There's three minutes left. Yeah. Mtoana, young star who probably got his first team contract that season, yeah. has a chance, ne? A pass it or a goal. Maropasa is the one that almost will guarantee a goal, as opposed to him shooting. Take an example in the World Cup. The 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 Giannis. Yes, 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 yes. I saw more Giannis. Yes. He, he was not scared. He stepped up. He went. He had senior. Man, we saw how that. He and, made it. And, and they didn't kiss. Yeah, but where were the seniors? So is it then a case of, hey, uh, sometimes if the seniors don't step up? Because they went through the process. They know what, what uh, the, 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 the effect of, of, side effect of doing that. They know. That's why they are sitting back. They don't want to expect, wait to take a big responsible for it. But the young star will say, let me take my chance. He was the shy, but you want to shy. Sometimes it scares the team, sometimes it benefits the team. But you rather try than just to win. Ah, Marie. I hear what Chloe is saying. <laughs> I genuinely hear what Chloe is saying. Marie, it should be like cup final. You know, get penalty. Let's try to win the corner. 
surely as a senior player, you'll be like, okay, I'm experienced in kicking teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I can go to and try and again. What if he misses? Because there's, there's, it's a pressure point. Like, yeah, I mean, there's a thin line between those. You, you need to feel it in yourself. Mm. I can come in as a sub. I saw Tashiki Borohai one, then we got to out. It doesn't mean because now I'm a senior, it's my responsibility there. Maybe there's, there's a youngster that has been banging throughout the game and he feels that coach, I can take it. You let him be. If he's got the courage, he believes himself. He's in his moments. Maybe it's his uh, ancestors telling him. Maybe it's his last game of this team and he's going to go abroad. You need to feel it. Bang it in your skin. Know it. Live it. So the feeling, is it with the youngster or the senior player? Is there like an understanding that needs to happen there? Because I get it, there's also like, ah, like, ah. It's a feeling within you as a person. It has nothing to do with the age and the department in the team. Yeah. Because we're coming from different directions, yet we're making one team. Collective? Collective. Yes. Nice. yes. And also speaking about collective, it's how do you then direct uh, a youngster who uh, one more now eager or not like ah get like get like man like get like a washer for them, but as a team you like fish. You know, you know, this thing takes us back in a way that even happened in, in football. We can bring, we, we can be a thousand in one room. Yeah. If there's love in this room, what, whatever company is in, mm. if there's love, there's harmony. Mm. God will just put his hand. Even if if we believe in each other, mm. there's love and there's harmony. Whoever's going to take that penalty is going to score it. So it, 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 it basically just goes to if we as a team don't believe or no, our team was Spanish Shako and never Spanish Shako because we're going to make up in some type of way. Exactly. He's going to make it. Because they're not going to let it believe. Yes. Okay. Mautiki here, Tito Basama, Eric Basama, they're going to prove or no. Like the faith they had in me, Eric Basama, they're going to prove or no. The faith they had in me, Eric Basama, True. Okay, no, that's a that's I, I thought like that only works in like other segments of life. It's in Remember when I started with this, I said <laughs> life football is like life yeah. itself. It comes with everything that happens generally in life. Alright, and then be, be, before before we before we uh we, we close this conversation off, uh because we can we can, we can go we can go on. <laughs> I'm learning new things here. Um so looking at it now, ne, um from August last year, I think that's when the season started. Who, from, I'm, I'm gonna speak to you from the team that you played for. Who has been the top three players that has, have stood out for you? And, and why? Mm, the football coach was Okay, I support unity. Okay, so you support unity, not individuals. But okay, overall, uh, what do you make of how, I mean, already there's one cup in the bag. Um, there's a semi-final or a quarter-final somewhere in the mix of the club. I don't know how things go. Your overall impression, the signings that came in, what, what, what have you made of the mighty Buccaneers thus far this season? Yeah, remember, this thing is a process. Mm. You don't just get it right at the beginning. Sometimes success of other teams can still be an Track pirates, uh, uh, history mm. it takes time. So I think now they are used to the facilities of the, of the Jamaica. Yeah. And I think amongst each other they start to put it in each other. Uh, I think now uh, uh, yeah, yeah, this is a sense of, 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 of a sense of unity within within the team. Mm. You know, they are supporting one another. So if they have this Two trophies in a season is not a bad return. It's not an achievement. 
Yeah, no, it's not a bad. And Devin, and I mean, they're still in the Champions League. They're doing relatively well there. So looking at all those elements, like Masakwa uh, Boba. <laughs> 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 no, the, the, the structure is the team I think yeah. it's coming together. All right, uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me right here on the Season Two Disky Chat. It was lovely having you, go, uh, former Orlando Pirates midfielder, and um, Tokovici and uh, former Kaiser Chiefs midfielder. And you heard what they had to say. Uh, take football and life, put them together because they are one thing, they are intertwined. So that's one of the biggest lessons that I took out of today's conversation. Gentlemen, once again, thank you very much. And on that note, before I get out of here, I'm just going to give you one more reminder that you stand a chance to win yourself a one of a kind Kentucky Rounder or a customized Kusheshi. All you have to do. As a Kosi fan or an Orlando Pirates fan, visit the now.borcom.co uh, website, enter your details, and the beauty about it is you can enter as many times as you want. And who knows, come end of the season, you could be finding yourself driving around your street in one of those beautifully customized cars. And uh, if you're looking for any further details, just visit at Borakom Soccer on Twitter to just get the one, two, three, four, or the four, one, one on how the competition is going. On that note, I'm out of here. Sisonke Diskifem, I will see you on the next episode.